Hi everyone, I'm here today with Matt Stancato with Guild Mortgage and we are so excited. We've wrapped up the summer with real estate and mortgages. Busy, busy end of the summer, end of the year is now what we're looking forward to. And um, the burning question that everyone wants to know is, Matt, what's going on with rates? What should we expect in this fourth quarter? Well, there's hardly any other questions that I've been asked uh, than, than what is going to happen with rates in the fourth quarter. Before the rates began, before the Fed made their move, that the Fed was going to make that move. They were going to make the cut that they made in September of half a basis point. Now, when that happened, on the day that it happened, rates didn't really go down all that much. In fact, there was a slight bump up the other direction. That's because in the financial world, there's something called buying the rumor and selling the news. And that means that if these folks want to make money, these financial um, folks buying and selling instruments on the, on the secondary market, they often need to get out there first and get their product at the right price earlier than in anybody else. Mm -hmm. So when they know that rates are going to be reduced, they went and started to reduce the mortgage rates for about a two to three week period before the Fed made their move. And rates slid down from a zero point deal of about seven and three quarters to what's a zero point deal now of about six and a half, depending on your situation. Uh, that's a very general example, but rates have moved that much. Now, it's been announced by the Fed that they're going to make two more cuts by the end of the year, either for a quarter and a quarter or for a half and a quarter. Uh, but you'll notice that the market is not moving in the same way that it did prior to the first cut. And why is that? Because the election changes everything. The election is a black box event. Okay. We don't know what's going to happen during the election. We don't know what's going to happen in the immediate aftermath. And we don't know how the market is going to react. So the Fed can make all the Fed noises that they want to about we're going to reduce rates again. But if an unexpected thing happens uh, during the election, they won't be able to follow through. For that reason, rates are in a temporary trough in where they're going to be. Over the next couple of years, rates are definitely headed down at least another percent and maybe another 2%. Great. As for the immediate future, however, rates are about as low as they're going to get. We've got about as much benefit as we're going to squeeze out of the current market until after the election. So if you're thinking about locking in, if you're thinking about now's the time to make an offer on that property, or if you're thinking, should I price or refinance? The answer is yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you for that. Really valuable information for everyone. And we've got, what, about a month until the election. Mm -hmm. And so um, we'll keep moving right ahead, looking forward to getting out with buyers, seeing our sellers. We've got, gosh, five new listings coming up. We're working with these buyers. Um, we're real excited. It's going to be a great end of year. And we want to thank all of you for following us throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. It's just been a really a big difference from our year before. We're loving it. And we're also real excited, a plug for the Stein team and Guild team uh, pie party, annual pie party. Our annual event. Yeah. yeah. And um, so it will be towards the end of, thanks of, end of November before Thanksgiving. Okay. Usually the Thursday before Thanksgiving is when we have that. Everyone, thank you so much. Yep. Enjoy these lessons last few wonderful warm days of Going the fast. fall and we will see you soon hope to see you at the pie party come by grab a pie play some cornhole have a drink have some fun with us bye bye